Daniel Edoche decided to support her mom morally and she did this by ailing her mother. This is as a result of her coming out for the first time without wedding rings. The only step that she needs to take to finalize every of this is just to take off Edoche from her social media handle. Well, regardless of you, Edoche, uh, I made a mistake um, with Judy Austin. It was this, it was that. Regardless of that, May has moved on. Ever since the news of her divorce broke out and the demand for 100 million naira from Yol Edoche, well, she has released videos and pictures of herself without a wedding ring. And in one of these pictures that she decided to share online with her fans and supporters, and of course with you, and being that you've been there for her all the way, she wrote this. When people say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. Wow. Well, it is clear, like I said earlier, that she has moved on. It's just one man there that is not moving on. He wants to eat his cake and have it. That's just what it is. So, Daniela, obviously she has never been in support of her father. But, you know, people will often say, do not get involved between your parents, you know, between your father and your mother whenever issues come up side nobody they are adults they are the ones that know how to deal with their things unless there are cases of um you know physical abuse maybe you can help your mother at that time that is if it is safe for you also now as it is she decided to heal her mother she decided to support her mother by writing chokest like you know what it is she's kind of trying to throw shade initially when this issue broke out she did something she took her father's name from her own name and i think um she did this in her own silent way of protesting like dad what you did is bad what is this if if someone does this to me will, will you be happy about it well she did her protest and she returned back of course she has to be neutral somehow whatever she wants to think she can do it in her mind and she can drop comments like this like chokest indeed she is a true daughter of a mother. And the response that May Yul Edoche, I'm talking of May now, wrote is my baby girl, Adama. Now, after this comment, a lot of people trooped in. You know how these things are. People want to see violence. People don't want this to go down. They want you to keep going on and on and on. That's just what it is. Well, People started writing, she never planned it to be like this. But since it turned out to be like this, her happiness and mental health matters a lot. I really wish her the very best in life. You see, life goes on. Beautiful May, the Lord continually bless you and keep you. You are loved. I wish her the best. The Lord is your strength. Now, in contrast, if you look at Yule Duce's page or the worst of it, Judy Austin's page and the very much worst of it, Sarah Martin's page. If you see comments, if you see comments and responses, you will be shocked. You will know there is no love there. No, no one is showing them any love. People are hitting them hard, hitting them hard, hitting them hard, brushing them, resetting their face, slapping. Come on, you need to see what is happening on their page. Nobody is comfortable with them anymore. Not at all. Not at all. No one is happy with them. Another person wrote this. If not that Mugu now, you go there here. He similarly G offer Ijele Odogu trying to hard to reintroduce Amumu self. See as woman supposed to be. You don't need to announce yourself when you know who you are. Auntie Ijele Abi Ihele, come and learn. Love you, man. Now, this commenter is simply trying to tell us about class. The class that we've all been talking about. The kind of class. Class. Class, not classless. The kind of class that May has exhibited. That is the truth. It's not just about going to school. It's not, we are not talking of education. You go to the university. No, we are talking about you having that, that, that sense of who you are from within you. And you portray yourself in such light. That is what we are talking about. Not some local village woman screaming. I'm not saying do not speak your language. You don't get me wrong. I'm not saying English is the criteria 
or, or the pinnacle of the greatest or whatever that you are. No, English is just a language like any other language. English is not superior to any other language. It can be widely spoken here and there. It doesn't mean it is more important than that your native language. But it is the manner to which you portray yourself. Do you portray yourself like a barbarian? Look at how Judeo will come out. Hey, like, you know, like a local thug drunk on drugs. Come on, stop that, stop that. Come and learn. Well, I don't know. Maybe you, Ledoche, wanted to have a bit of class and classless so that it can be neutral. But unfortunately, like I said, you cannot eat your cake and have it. Another person wrote this. See love. See engagement. No dramas. Some people will be acting Aisha and Odogu for engagement. Another person wrote this. Indeed, my queen. Upward ever. Backward never. I love you to the moon and back. You are a blessing to this generation and you will remembered. You will be remembered forever as grace personified. You know how how sweet, how how nice does it sound? Come on. It is the it, you see what Peter Duchy said. Out of all he said, out of all he said, let us say 80% is not correct. There is one thing that he said that I held on to that May is the success and backbone of that family. And once you decide to move away from success, you decide to move away from the pillar, the backbone of your life, of your family, what will happen? You become spineless. Your <laughs> Come on, you know what it is if a house does not have foundation. Oh my God. If there is no supporting pillar, what will become of that house? Collapse. You become a mockery. If there is no, no grace of success there, what will happen to your life? What will happen to that? What will happen to you yourself? But now if you now decide to now associate yourself with a graceless, a successless, if there's anything like that, a failure. Come on. Come on. You let do Who Who did this to you? It is so sad. Let us be sin- let us let us let us be serious now. It is so sad. It is so sad. May we not fall into such trap. You know, like I've always said, this is not just for entertainment. It's also a lesson to you. A lot of us, because we might be towing that pathway where you 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 great. You are so used to greatness, and you think you are the one. You know, come on. Don't you know that there are certain things that complement each other? You are you are there. You know, thinking ah, no, it's not like that. The day that grace leaves you, you will know that you are nobody. Come on, come on, look at it. We we all can see it. This is not uh, the eight, yo. No, it's about the hatred for, for Judy Austin. Who knows Judy Austin? No, we all saw it and we are still seeing it. And we can differentiate the difference. We know the difference. We can see. We can see it. The manifestations are there. We are seeing it every day. Will anyone look at Judy Austin and say, this is the kind of wife that I want for my son or fiancé? Or girlfriend no but when you look at me will you not say okay regardless of the kind of person she is privately maybe we don't know some things about her but look at how she has become come on look at how she has been able to handle her, herself gold cannot be good unless you pass it through fire so she has gone through that process and we are seeing how she comported herself we see how she contained herself that is what we are talking about not a woman who she is not even her son did not die Nothing like this happened. Look at how she's ranting. Odogu is simply very, very erratic words coming from her mouth, misbehaving, acting crazy. Is that pride? Well, I think this is what you Doche want because you Doche is used to such. This is who you Doche is. That is the truth. That is the reality. So you Doche simply found what resonates with him, what is good for him. What blends with his life, his destiny, his pathway. It's as simple as that. You let is not used to this very good life. A life where you comport yourself, a life that you do things the way things are supposed to be done. You let do is like Aguru, talk, motopark, that kind of life. So he, he needs someone that complements such, someone that can really cool family, that can mess things up. You know, that's the kind of man that he is. He needs this uh, you know kind of life. And he eventually got it, finally. So, it's like he left to him. He has left a prison of progress. That is what it is to him. He felt like, this place I am is like a prison. Even though success, happiness, and a lot of things are in it. He doesn't want it. He wants this place where there are bottles, broken bottles everywhere. Uh-huh. Well, live with 
Judy Austin and live forever. Like and share this video, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.